viewers, the first time public disapproval against corruption in high places erupted was in the outpouring of support for the movement against graft led by Anna Hazare in 2011. You'll remember, he was a rustic, or at least described as one from Maharashtra. And his cohorts like Arvind Kejriwal made it difficult for politicians to avoid accountability. The Hazare movement brought down the UPA government. At the time, the protest and the criminal justice system was praised for finally going after the political high and mighty. Democracy, it was observed then, was said to be thriving on its most desirable virtue, accountability. Now, in an incredible demonstration of faith's fickle ways, Arvind Kejriwal has allegedly fallen short of the standards of rectitude he himself set for those in political life. The Enforcement Directorate has taken him into custody. All this, of course, happened, viewers, on Thursday. We were reporting it live. And now he faces what amounts to an inquisition on corruption charges. But that is the least of the irony. Kejriwal's arrest, which ought to have, yes, viewers, it ought to have been celebrated as the cementing of equity in the eyes of the law, is guess what, viewers? It is being described as a matter of deep disquiet. Imagine, viewers, a person in high office, charged with corruption, taken into custody after the court satisfied that there is prima facie enough evidence against him. That person's arrest, viewers, today is being described as the murder of democracy and the birth of tyranny. The AAP has decided to hit the streets with a new campaign centered around the theme that the Prime Minister fears Kejriwal. And that fear has turned the Prime Minister into a dictator, hell-bent upon persecuting the opposition. Listen in to Atishi of uh, the Aam Admi Party, who is of course a minister and some people say could even be Shadow Chief Minister. चुनाव की घोषणा के बाद क्यों अरविंद केजरीवाल जी को गिरफ्तार किया? इसलिए गिरफ्तार किया क्योंकि आज प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी को पता है कि अगर इस देश में कोई एक नेता है जो उन्हें चैलेंज कर सकता है, तो वो नेता अरविंद केजरीवाल है। अरविंद केजरीवाल की प्रेरणा घर घर तक पहुंचाने के लिए आज पूरे देश में सोशल मीडिया पर एक डीपी कैंपेन की शुरुआत कर रही है आज दोपहर तीन बजे से आम आदमी पार्टी के सभी नेता आम आदमी पार्टी के सभी विधायक आम आदमी पार्टी के सभी कार्यकर्ता अपनी डीपी बदल रहे हैं What's more, the alarm bells are not just being sounded by the Aam Aadmi Party, but also social commentators, activists, journalists, viewers. Anyone who today proclaims that he's standing up for democracy and, of course, almost all opposition politicians. I was just reading editorials and I've, of course, written a piece against this sort of uh, perhaps overhyped concern that is being expressed for the health of our democracy but that's a different matter viewers i was reading a piece which said the arrest of kejriwal needs to be seen as part of a larger process of consigning democracy to the dustbin of sham formality the arrest is being linked to the alleged deepening of tyranny under modi's regime a slow but inexorable slide into a political culture where the government of the day quote does not allow the opposition to mobilize, organize, and govern, unquote, through the, quote, arbitrary, unquote, application of the law. The ED claims to have a strong case against Kejriwal. And Kejriwal's team says that the ED is lying. Let's first, viewers, for the benefit of putting the facts out in the domain claimed by the ED and, of course, rebutted by Team Kejriwal. Let me just put them all out so we know what the score is. Viewers, 
The ED claims the Delhi Chief Minister is the kingpin of this liquor license policy scam, this alleged scam, that he sought kickbacks from liquor barons. Kejriwal's legal team says first time in India's history a sitting Chief Minister has been arrested. Viewers, the Enforcement Directorate says Delhi Chief Minister directly involved in the formation of the excise policy. Kejriwal's legal team says ED has not published the necessity for arrest. ED says Vijay Nair, a member of the AAP, acted as middleman between Kejriwal and the South Group. Kejriwal's legal team says majority of accused have not mentioned dealings with Kejriwal. The ED says YSRCP MP Mangunta Reddy said the Chief Minister wanted 100 crores for election expenditures. Kejriwal's legal team says the weight of statements can only be considered during the trial. The ED says Vijay Nair received 100 crore kickbacks on behalf of Kejriwal. Kejriwal's legal team says tracing the money trail is no ground for arrest. The ED says Hawala trail of 45 crores traced for the Goa election funding. Kejriwal's legal team says no need for arrest over contours of alleged crime. ED says MS Reddy said he was asked to arrange 10 crore payment to K Kavita. Kejriwal's legal team says there is no direct evidence against the Delhi Chief Minister. ED says apart from personal role, Kejriwal's role via Aam Admi Party, important. Kejriwal's legal team says ED misled court over reasons for summons. Arrest is illegal. It just goes on and on, viewers. The ED says during the search, Delhi Chief Minister was not cooperative. Kejriwal's legal team says larger issue of democracy involved in the case. There are many criticisms, viewers, to be made, let me tell you, of the ED's actions. But linking Kejriwal's arrest to democratic backsliding isn't one of them. Now, viewers, I've prepared some very simple hard facts for you tonight. Nothing complicated, nothing like the ED versus the AAP face-off I just painfully read out to you. These are very simple, mostly based on logic but undeniable logic because, viewers, it is based on hard facts. Number one, viewers, AAP has championed the Enforcement Directorate's crackdown against graft in states such as Punjab and West Bengal when it wanted to score points against the Congress and TMC, respectively, viewers. Yes, the AAP that is today accusing the ED of being the cat's paw of the Prime Minister in the larger scheme of quashing, throttling democracy and, of course, turning India into a tyranny like Putin's Russia. That same ED viewers, the AAP was praising. When it felt that the AAP, the ED was doing a good job, neutralizing the AAP's opponents. That's one basic fact. The second fact, viewers, Kejriwal has built a long list of critics who deride him on the integrity parameter. In fact, many of those Today, attributing his arrest to Modi's authoritarianism had themselves parted way or were turned out by Kejriwal for eschewing per probity in political life. They said that he was no longer somebody who could speak for integrity. We have to ask, were the Prashant Bhushans and Yogendra Yadavs playing parlor games then or are they playing them now? Third viewers, third hard fact, democracies are best nurtured by clean politicians. Those today siding with Kejriwal are the first to point out that the laws need to be strengthened so they can prevent the corrupt from being elected to office. Surely then viewers, Kejriwal's arrest is serving the public interest by informing voters about his eligibility or lack thereof. The Congress Delhi unit itself, those members have accused Kejriwal of being a kingpin of the Delhi liquor excise policy scandal. Fourth, hadn't Kejriwal dodged nine summons from the enforcement directorate today? Viewers, they're saying, oh, look at the timing. It's just before the election. The first round is yet to happen. And within weeks of that, but viewers, have they forgotten that the first summons went out in October last year? He dodged nine of them. And didn't the High Court viewers deny him, which is the next point, interim protection? Court, interim protection, uncourt. This is hard fact five from the ED's coercive action. Setting the stage for his arrest. Is the High Court also now presumed to be part of the Prime Minister's alleged campaign to subvert democracy? 
Let's look at that fifth hard fact, viewers. It's there on your screens. Let's fire it. There it is. The Delhi High Court denied Kejriwal interim protection from arrest only after evaluating the ED evidence against him. Indeed, the judiciary is increasingly becoming the victim of a schizoid iconoclasm. It is hailed by a section of self-styled civil society activists when the outcomes are in line with their expectations and slandered if the verdict doesn't suit their interests. Fifth, truth be told, trouble has been brewing for AAP ever since it introduced a new liquor policy in 2021. Its sudden withdrawal in 2022 when its implementation was linked to backhanders dented AAP's credibility and underlined the need for CBI and ED investigations. The fact that the courts have not granted any relief to many Sisodia, Sanjay Singh and Vijay Nair is being increasingly seen as a sign of AAP's culpability. Only the most partisan then viewers would deny that Kejriwal arrest was not an arrest foretold. Now viewers, is the vendetta charge being applied selectively to Modi? Why were the incumbent opposition chief ministers of Andhra Pradesh and Punjab not accused of tyranny when they prosecute the likes of Chandrababu Naidu and Sukhpal Khaira? Viewers, Sukhpal Khaira was picked up by whom? Bhagwan Man, the chief minister of Punjab. He wasn't tyrannical when he did that. But viewers, it is here in serving the public interest that the Modi government must be impeccably impartial. Unfortunately, it is also on this score that the government's crackdown on corruption doesn't always pass the smell test. Leaders with blots on their character but who join the BJP suddenly become whitewashed. This is also happening. Hypocrisy is an all too common affliction of electoral politics, whether it's on the AAP side or the BJP. Populists routinely become prisoners of their own public persona. To link the NDA selectivity, on graft to the death of democracy, however, is to misread the symptoms of what is afflicting viewers, the NDA or the BJP or who else? I've given you the hard facts, viewers. Let's open this up. Let's open this up. We've heard so much. Sanju Verma, let me begin with you first. I am holding up newspapers here. Look at these newspapers. These newspapers have reams and reams. Of course, I have rebutted some of this commentary in my own piece. But all of them are saying the same thing. That you want an opposition mukt election, you want to shove everybody into jail like Putin does. Of course, he sends them much further. But uh, this is what you're doing. This is what you're doing and this is wrong. And, you know, look at this. We have become uh, not just an electoral autocracy, but we are worse. Everything that VDEM says about us is true. Can you now come out and allay those fears? Sanjay Varma. Thank you, Sanjay Rahul. Varma. Yes. Uh, Rahul, first and foremost, thank you for that uh, exceedingly comprehensive introduction, which uh, has laid down the tenor of the debate. Uh, I'll start with a few points very quickly. First and foremost, you know, uh, let me take the last bit first. VDEM. VDEM says that, you know, democracy is under threat in India. This is the same VDEM. Uh, which for the last two years has been saying that uh, Finland is one of the happiest countries to stay in. And uh, anyone uh, who can Google knows that Finland has the highest suicide rate. Uh, two years back, uh, the presidential palace in Sri Lanka uh, was raided uh, thanks to corruption by Rajapaksa, who was hounded out. And uh, Vidim, just a few months ahead of that, had said that Sri Lanka is one of the best places to live in. So Vidim has zero credibility, be that as it may. I will uh, address the elephant in the room. First and foremost, kya democracy khatre mein hai? The date was 27th February 2002. Gujarat riots. Prime Minister Narendra Modi hounded, maligned, attacked, selectively targeted for the longest time. I say he was guillotined by a left-leaning cabal. And it was in June 2022 that the Supreme Court gave him an unconditional clean sheet saying there was no criminal conspiracy by Narendra Modi. And yet he's hounded. Democracy kya 20 saal tak khatre mein nahi thi? The date was 26 November 2005. Sohabuddin Sheikh was killed. Amit Shah was maligned, hounded, attacked. He was given a clean check by the Bombay High Court in 2016. But Harsh Mandir went and appealed against it. Finally, Supreme Court gave an unconditional clean check to Amit Shah in this particular case in 2018. It took one, three, 13 years for Amit Shah uh, 
to finally get relief. He never said Lokantra khatre mein hai, Samvidhan khatre mein hai, democracy khatre mein hai. And last but not the least, 6 December 1992, the Babri Masjid demolition. It was in 2020 that the Supreme Court gave a clean chit to Murli Manohar Joshi, Uma Bharti, Lal Krishna Advani, and the uh, no more uh, ex-former Chief Minister of Uttar Pradesh, Kalyan Singh. I don't think I ever saw Uma Bharti or L.K. Advani saying democracy khatre mein hai. So those people, jo are democracy ke surma ban kar, democracy ki duhai dete hai, you first look into your own girebang, do some introspection. Now very quickly, has the ED been draconian and selective? I'm also writing an exhaustive piece uh, on this, which should write, uh, you know, ideally be published tomorrow. I say this. If it is a Rahul Shiv Shankar or a Shekhar Ayyar, a Sanju Varma, Anand Ranganathan, uh, Akash Deep Puni or a Taisim Punawala, Pere Teen Saman Tak, the ED bears with you. After the third summon, if you don't comply, if you don't present yourself for interrogation, the ED under Section 17, 18, 19 has so motor powers for search, seizure and arrest because under Section 45 of the PMLA, when you are accused of money laundering, that becomes automatically a non-bailable, cognizable offense. So, what is the ED is being draconian. Aapko yaad dila du, that the ED actually has been very generous and gave a long rope to Arvind Kejriwal. He was arrested after the court refused to stay Kejriwal's arrest, after the court refused to okay. quash summons against Kejriwal, and after Arvind Kejriwal brazened it out by refusing to comply with nine summons from the ED. Now, the third and most important point, was there even a liquor scam? Because if you look at the Aam Admi Party and its uh, empathizers and acolytes, they say scam to hell nahi. There is no money trail to them. I will just say, go back and read the October 2023 judgment of Justice Sanjeev Khanna and SVN Bhatti, where they clearly said that a money trail, albeit tentatively, of rupees 338 crore has been established. And why was K. Kavita not given relief by the Supreme Court? Because there has been a 100 crore quid pro quo where she gave a bribe of 100 crore to Arvind Kejriwal and company 30 seconds. Why are Vijay Nair in lieu of which K. Kavita invested 65% in Samir Mahindru's Indosprit, 32.5% via our confidant Arun Ramchandra Pillai, who has now started singing like a canary and deposed against her, okay. and another 32.5% via her other confidant Prem Rahul. So, you know, where there is a money trail, it does not necessarily have to be in cash. You are investing in a company because you are bribed XYZ and okay. you're being gratified in lieu of that. So, so has there been a money trail? Yes. Have there been proceeds of crime? Yes. Is there a malafide the intent? Yes. Was the ED being draconian? No. Did the court give relief to Sisodia, Satinder Jain, Sanjay Singh and Kejriwal? No. Scam hua tha? Ji haan. Okay. CAG ki report kehti hai. There was a scam okay. of over 2,000 crore and the CAG is not a handmaiden of Narendra Modi. It is a constitutional body okay. under chapter 5 of the constitution. It is independent. Okay. Viewers, you've heard Sanju Varma's defense. Technical arguments there. Strong ones you could argue. I want to bring in Dr. Ranganathan, but just before that, Tehseen Poonawala, because this was a political yeah. uh, exposition by Sanju Varma in defense of her government. Sure. Uh, Tehseen Poonawala, look, you speak usually for the Congress party. Yes. That hasn't in the past spoken for Mr. Kejriwal in connection with this particular liquor excise policy alleged scam. That's true. So let me put that on record. Absolutely. There must be full disclosure. Your great friend, Mr. Markan, and others from your party have actually called for his arrest. Even Mr. Sh Mr. Deekshit yes. has said he should be arrested. And of course, yes. I can play out all those sound bites. So why is the Congress today throwing its weight behind Mr. Kejriwal and also echoing this tyranny charge? And do you have the legs yes. to rebut each one of these points. Yes. Thank you, Rahul. At the onset, a very, very happy holy to each and every one of you, to your viewers, to your family, Rahul, and to everybody. Thank you. And it's terrible that an elected chief minister of Delhi is in jail on charges that, in the words of Rajuji, in, who represented ED in court, says, we have no money trail, we still have to establish a money trail. This after over a year, Manish Sisodia has been in jail and Sanjay Singh continues to language in jail for four months. Here are the facts of the case on why uh, Liquor Gate uh, and Arvind Kejriwal's arrest is absolutely not just draconian, it should make all of us pause and think. There's a gentleman called P. Sarat Chandra Reddy. P. 
Sarath Chandra Reddy is the director of a company called Orbindo Pharma. It's a family firm that formed it in 1986. 89 it starts production. It then goes on to become a public listed company that most of the directors are from his family. The ED says P. Sarat Chandra Reddy is the kingpin of this whole liquor gate scam. He's a Hawala operator and it arrests him on 10th of November. On 15th of November, P. Sarat Chandra Reddy's company, in which he's the director of Orbindo Pharma, gives 5 crore rupees to the BJP, which the BJP encashes on 21st of November. And then, lo and behold, P. Sarat Chandra Reddy, from an accused, becomes an approver for your viewers, a witness. A witness who ED does not oppose allows him to become a witness, an approver, and he names the Chief Minister of Delhi, Arvind Kejriwal. As I said in my opening remarks, Raju says, no money trail. Now what Sanjuji said is there's a 300 crore money trail, as the Honorable Supreme Court Chief Justice said, no. In ED, you will not get bail because of the twin conditions that you are guilty until you prove yourself innocent, and in a bail hearing, you don't go into the facts of the matter. So anything that ED comes out and says, they will tell, they will say that we have a 300 crore money trail, they'll say you have a 100 crore money trail, you say Karthi Chidambam has a tennis court in, in Spain, you have to believe it's true until you can prove it's not true, but you can never prove. Now, out of the 10,000 odd cases, yes, 10 or 12 cases have got bail, but as a rule, you generally don't get bail of the 9,900 cases. Now, may I please make a third and a very important point. Why were nine summons skipped by the Honorable Chief Minister of Delhi? Because Rahul, all of us sitting on this panel, if we are summoned by any agency, it is our fundamental right to know whether we are summoned as an accused, an approver, a witness, or, some, or just to give a statement in some other thing. Article 20 of the Indian Constitution says it's a fundamental right. It's not a legal right, uh, Rahul. It's a fundamental right not to indict oneself. You have a right to know why you've been summoned. This is even if a small police station summons you, Rahul, or summons me, and I know you've been hounded by people who I support. I know this, and I stand up for your freedom. You have a right to know why you've been summoned. This is not happening to a chief minister. This is where we all have to pause and think. The same ED, which calls itself a professional agency, for Chagan Bujbal says, look, we lost his file, and it shuts the case. The same Himanta Biswa Sharma against whom, ED, against whom BJP removes a white paper, today becomes an approver, because he's the chief minister in BJP. This is not a level playing field. ED must also remember that times will change, and these officers must owe their loyalty to the constitution that. of the country. Let's not, not let's to all. No, not it is my the duty to say let's this. Not, no, no. It is uh, my I, duty uh, to say uh, this second. because the loyalty Viewers. to the constitution cannot be stopped. Viewers, they are not loyal to, to people, okay, they are loyal okay, to the constitution. Okay, okay. Am I there saying are, something wrong? No, no, one second. One is second. it wrong? Uh, one second. Viewers, you say that just, I'm wrong? just a few years ago, let me tell you, I've been around for a while. Somebody once said that the CBI was the Congress Bureau of Investigation and that person was sued left, right and center. I just want to make sure that what Mr. Tehseen Poonawala is saying is in his own private capacity Absolutely. as an individual. And, allow me to and if that. he believes that he can get away by threatening the enforcement director, that's on him. Point. And he's but talking about retribution, etc. But you please made that. allow me to make that point again since you did. No, no, you made that just point. Now let me bring in Dr. Rangan. No, I no, want the ED officers to know their loyalty to the Please, please, please. One second. And if they want to sue me for saying One second, one second. Viewers, the question is not about who gave what right now. The question, why are we having this debate? The debate is about whether democracy is withering under a tyranny. Did you hear any answers, viewers, on the question I posed? We had some technical defense today about some chap who gave money or didn't give money or gave money to one, then gave money to the other, a lot of money. But, viewers, the maximum attention is being put on things that the court should be concerned with. These people who are writing without, now just look at this one paragraph you, this chap who's writing away. I don't know how this has passed the test of standards, Dr. Ranganathan, listen to this. <laughs> listen to this. Not one example is given. And the statement is, how does one describe the current regime? How does one make sense of, contem of the contemporary moment? Some time ago, sol scholars complained that India is becoming an electoral-only democracy. Subsequently, the regime was named an electoral autocracy. However, the resource asymmetry and misuse of official machinery on the eve of elections has cast a dark shadow on the rather circumspect descriptions. It begs the question whether taming the opposition qualifies the current regime as democratic. Taming corruption. Not the opposition. Crazy. I mean, this <clears> man <throat> has not even given you a tenable example, Dr. Ranganathan, to explain where he's coming from. 
this is what's bothering me. And this will be read by 30 people, quoted by another 30, and it will become <laughs> the dominant headline in the New York Times, which it already has become because of this lot. So Dr. Ranganathan, come in on this. Tell us, what are we supposed to think? I think, uh, first of all, good evening, Rahul, and good evening to your fellow, my fellow panelists, and to your viewers, and wishing everyone a very happy Holi. Uh, I have three or four points to make, and in the spirit of Holi and my good uh, friend and brother Tessin being there, I would uh, I would just ask him a few questions, and in the spirit, I, I would request him to just answer yes and no. In the spirit of things, Tessin, you would I know no, you would no, have no, longer explanations for that, but just for the okay, sake it. of the debate tonight. Okay. For the he'll sake of debate tonight, I, I urge you, I beg you to answer in yes and no. So question me. number one. Tessin, is uh, the Chief Minister of Delhi, Arvind Kejriwal, is he an Aam Admi? Yes or no? Yes, he is an Aam Admi. Everybody is equal before thank the Constitution. You. No, 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 yeah, thank you. Thank you. Now, Rahul, you know the law very well, as well as I do. You are provided three summons by the Enforcement Directorate to appear. And if you don't, by law, sanctioned by the Constitution, as well as approved and stamped by the Supreme Court of India, you can be arrested through a non-bailable warrant. If that is true for the Aam Admi, why is that not true for Arvind Kejriwal? Question number two, uh, uh, Tehseen, is it not a fact that when the Aam Admi Arvind Kejriwal slandered the late Mr. Arun Jaitley and Mr. Late, uh, the late Mr. Arun Jaitley sued him, he recruited the services of Mr. Ram Jesh Malani, Mr. Arvind Kejriwal, the fee for which was 3.8 crore rupees. Is it true, yes or no, that Arvind Kejriwal wanted the daily taxpayer to pay that fee? Yes or no? I'm not aware of it. I don't know what was Ram Jesh Malani's fee, but you're wrong on the first part, so it can't be a yes or no. no, no because no, no, you're wrong. You cannot, no, no, he cannot, you can leave it. This is where it gets. Otherwise, let me not happen. ask him. You cannot mislead. Let me not ask him. No, you cannot mislead because those nine summons did not tell the chief minister why he was being called. You cannot mislead. No, hang on. The Supreme Court has even come in and mentioned that. Okay, okay, okay. 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 Okay, okay, ok
the opposition would have come on to the street demanding resignation of prime minister but nothing of said that's not happened why because the congress was also convicted under the same fcra violation rules congress did nothing in fact congress helped the bjp How in amend the fcra act then people like tasin were completely silent okay. what happened like to the democracy line. then just one line to smash this complete just one line i agree with anand p sarat chandra reddy is a criminal a money launderer and he's been arrested by the ed when the bjp knew it why did they take money from him and in cash those bonds from a money no, launderer this that. itself shows the money trail okay. this itself exposes them okay yes very now, quickly now, sanju now verma me, one second now, let now, sanju verma answer pull it let me answer this let me answer this please very quickly i need to take a break yes Yes. Yeah. Very quickly. First and foremost, you know, under Section 195 of the IPC, Section 308 and 340 of the CRPC, which I'm sure Tessin is well aware of, even if you turn an approval, which Sarath Chandra Reddy has done, you don't. that does not mean that yes. your sentence will be commuted. That's right. The Correct. In ongoing investigation against Sarath Chandra Reddy has neither been derailed nor been suspended yes. nor been disbanded. Point number two, and yes. my last point is this. My last point is this: If you are accusing the BJP of knowing that there was, uh, you know, uh, involvement of Sarath Chandra Reddy in the liquor scam, and we still took money from him, by that logic, I ask you: The biggest donor is Santiago Martins Future Gaming. He was raided in 1920 and in 2021. Why is it that after that he chose to give money to the DMK, the Congress, and yeah. the TMC, and not the BJP? Okay. He could have given the money Viewers. to the BJP if he was so scared. Viewers. Why did he yeah. give money? Okay. Viewers, okay, viewers, viewers, viewers. I'm going to take a very short break. We've had three very fiery, spirited people speaking. When we come back, Shekhar Ayer and Akashdeep Muni will take the stand. I'm coming back in precisely two minutes, viewers. Here's a fundamental question we asked before this break, and I want to bring in Shekhar Ayer, as well as uh, Akashdeep Muni. The fundamental question was: Is the alarm over Kejriwal's arrest a fundamental overreaction, Mr. Shekhar Ayer? You heard three speakers before the break. Where do you come in in this? It's an important issue. It goes to the heart of free speech. It goes to the heart of what India prides itself in being, which is a free and fair democracy. Well, Rahul, uh, the democracy in danger is a recurring theme from 2014. Actually, ever since Prime Minister came, I mean, rather when ever since Modi became Prime Minister, we have had this democracy being in danger. In fact, the democracy <laughs> dying also, and again having reincarnations, then again to die further at every general election. and whole idea is to show you know that why we believe in uh, you know recycle of this uh, birth and death and the whole idea is to show this time uh, rahul because everybody knows the outcome of this 2024 election but the opposition realizing its state of mess from seat sharing to an agreed you know common minimum agenda all that they can do is to show that elections may appear to be fair rather they appear to be free but they are not fair and actually it is kejriwal who decided the timing of his arrest it is not ed kejriwal by avoiding those uh, nine summons he wanted to take it to the doorstep of the elections and which he succeeded in the hope that ed would not dare to pick him up rather he thought the prime minister modi's government would not dare to do it that is where he lost the gamble because the proceedings in the delhi high court showed after the judges examined the files they did not see any reason why they should grant any immunity to kejriwal now after having done that now you are seeing the rest of the thing and it is indeed indeed a mockery of opposition politics the very congress party which had wanted action against kejriwal on the basis of the first available evidence of this scam is now standing by him and mind you it is not the entire congress party it is rahul gandhi it is a leadership rest of the congress leaders feel what are we doing this guy got us out only by charging us with corruption and what not in state after state everywhere it was kejriwal who finished the congress and today the plight of the congress is such particularly its leadership that they have to stand by him that is one part and the second part is uh, rahul 
See, Kedriwal or any of these politicians, I'm not going into who is paying for these, uh, you know, who is going to pay these uh, lawyers the fees. But the fact is, they have the best of counsel how to beat about the bush. There is no dearth of lawyers. In okay. fact, that is a sign of our, how alive is our democracy. Our judicial system is strong. They are going to work under any pressure. It is going to go by evidence. And right now, whatever has been presented as per the provisions of PMLA, which were approved by the Supreme Court, things are looking not nice for Kejriwal. That's a fact. But I'm worried about this democracy danger being taken too far so that when Prime Minister gets the third mandate, that yes. will be a, a, a launch of a special campaign okay. to show that he may have won elections, but he hasn't actually won. Well, Akashdeep uh, Muni. Uh, just 10 seconds. Okay, 10 seconds. Before I need to bring in Akashdeep Muni. Why let, did he get a let, third one second. Term. Yes, 10 seconds. He's Doctor. not getting no third term. Ten Opposition seconds. is Doctor. winning. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Ten thank seconds, you, uh, Dr. Muni. Just, just, just a couple of uh, uh, 10 seconds, rather. Rahul, I want to clarify that I think uh, we need to be very careful. We have not condemned Kejriwal as either guilty yeah. or uh, being corrupt. We are not. That is the job of a judge and the judiciary. We are just saying that ED has been following legal guidelines. Because let me be very honest, who is corrupt and who isn't is now Absolutely. totally relative. Till now, only one person and his firm have been directly linked through money trail to having paid the then coal minister who then allocated coal scam. That person, BJP wanted arrested and jailed. That person is today in BJP. Yeah. So who is corrupt, who isn't, is not a question anymore. It's not a question. Now, the point is, let me bring in Akashdeep Muni. This is important, Akashdeep Muni. Does, does the lack of popular support behind Mr. Kejriwal Worry you? Where is the arm admi that he speaks for? Party units are coming out, councillors are marching or will march or whatever it is. Where is the arm admi? Even they seem to have deserted him, number one. Number two, sir, and this is a question I must ask you. Please play the game that uh, Mr. Tehseen Punawala refused to play with yes. Dr. Ranganathan, but play it with me. It's holy today, as someone said. Do you trust <laughs> do you trust the judiciary do you trust the judiciary when the electoral bonds verdict was handed out yes or no yes i trust the judiciary yes. so you must presumably trust the judiciary when they said that there is no interim protection for mr kejriwal from arrest setting the stage for what happened on thursday yes or no uh, did that say that i'm only can asking can you quote the can you quote the justice yes sir, sir? Yes, sir. They it's said good. no it's interim protection from arrest for Mr. Kejriwal. Those yeah, are the exact words. Yeah, yeah. I agree with, with you. Yes. You agree? Yes. So then how is democracy in Khatra when the courts... I'll, I'll tell you. When the courts, I'll tell you. When the courts have weighed, and in that hearing, I'll of course, you. if you remember, ED was called to the back and asked by the judge as a sidebar, along with the counsel that Mr. Kejriwal had appointed that day to peruse the evidence. And it was only after that was vetted by the justices that they passed that order, which you agree with. So democracy, no, the, mein kaise there, when everything there, is there working went, according to procedure, process, due process. Muni sir. Sure. Thank you. Thank you, Rahulji, for uh, this question. And uh, while you played the game with me, I'll also take the privilege. Happy Holi to you and all the fellow Thank panelists. You, uh, with uh, uh, Raghunathanji, my good friend. Raghunathanji, I have a some small question. Just say yes or no. Okay. Because we are talking about democracy. Khatre mein hai ya nahi hai. Uh, there is, uh, I'll name some people. You tell me that uh, where they accused by Bharati Janta Party of scams and uh, did they sh shift their ships? Uh, first is Ashok Chavan. Bol diya. Uh, Ek to maine bol diya. Uh, main dusre naam bata de raha uh, Ashok Chavan, sir. Yes, yes, yes. Hemant Bishwa Sarma, Sarada scam. Yes, yes. Uh, yes. Chagan Bhujwal, Maharashtra Sarada scam. Of course. Scam. Yes. Ajit Power, irrigation scam. What's the point? Ye sab naam to maine bataya main sabse pehle. Chale, Narayan Rani land scam. Uh, ta, Subindu Adhikari. Rahul, you need to come in here. I need to come in, Rahul. It's okay, let him finish his list. 
his list i have already in fact begun my show by saying no no akashdeep muni akashdeep muni i began akashdeep muni let me complete my point yeah of course i'm just wanting to remind you that we are wasting time because i have already brought out the hypocrisy in my introduction Yes, sir. Sir, you have given three and a half minutes to my fellow panelists. So give me at least fifty seconds. Ah. Okay, <laughs> chalo. Okay. Now Tapasro, which was is named as uh, recently in the fifth list that he is going to fight Lok Sabha elections from Kolkata in the Bharatiya Janata Party ticket. Uh, the interesting factor I want to tell you that uh, in your introduction, Rahul ji, you said that when corrupt people come into government, governors, then democracy is at risk. so these people as per bharatiya janata party were kara and they have got tickets and they are going to come into government no no i need so to answer this let, let him finish please sir ma'am ma ek minute the, there are many statements by honorable justices like justice sanjeev khanna and justice dipankar datta who came down heavily on ed that you cannot misuse pmla to keep someone uh, inside jail for eternity there are number of uh, justices like justice bhuiya who said recently that ed should not misuse Uh, PMLA, which will lower its value. We all know how it has been misused. Till now, till today, it has been said uh, by Bharatiya no, Janata no, Party that there is a money trail. No, no, wait a minute, ma'am. Just 30 seconds more, and then I'll be uh, backing off. My, there is a, not a money trail. There is no money trail. And recently, the enforcement director, yeah. lawyer in the court, said that there is not, there is no money trail till found out. We want to find now, as my good friend Punawala ji said. Now, my my last point, which I want to make. Is that ED seems to be working like a Vasuli gang in this point of view? Point. Uh, no, no. I take strong evidence to this kind of language. One second. 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 One that when bharatiya janata party does that when there is money trail in case of bharatiya janata party mm -hmm. nobody questions them there is no questions by enforcement directorate there is no question by media even the bharatiya janata party people don't question them okay. the interesting factor is that when there is no money trail in this particular context of uh, amadi party there is all the questions no, that no, is no, why no, so no, you're no, saying no, no, no. you're yes, saying sir, this is tyrannical yeah. action sanju varma many people many people action. objectively speaking will have a problem the finance minister gets up tables a white paper in parliament lists the scams the first scam on a list is other scam the kingpin of that scam allegedly is ashok chavan in which party is ashok chavan okay i will now answer without yes rahul i heard you i heard akash muni and i heard mr ranganathan also you know when people sit here and i'm not going to accuse today anyone of being a, a monkey balancer you know people may have their own compulsions to do monkey balancing i don't have any compulsions and i will speak the truth i have been asked point blank and i do a zillion debates more than anybody else across the spectrum people ask me and i pointedly tell them if you know himanta biswa sharma chagan bhujbal narayan rane ashok chavan uh, you know uh, beat yashwan jadhav or for that matter any xyz who was earlier on the other side and today he is or she is a part of the bjp please knock on the doors of the supreme court and bring that trial to fruition and do not compare apples with oranges and i'll tell you why jab bhi kuch hota hai who is the person who you first point your fingers at it is either either narendra modi or amit shah and i tell you look at narendra modi's credentials because i always believe that leadership starts from the top top it does not start from the bottom नरेंद्र मोदी के चार भाई और एक बहन उनका तो आपका नाम भी नहीं पता होगा समी इज ड्राइंग रुपीज सैलरी समी इज ड्राइंग रुपीज सैलरी बट हमको सब पता है यू नो बीट सोनिया गांधी बीट राहुल गांधी बोथ आउट ऑन बेल इन द नेशनल हेरेज स्कैम बीट जीजा जी रॉबर्ट वड्रा आउट ऑन बेल इन दी बीकानेर लैंड ग्राम स्कैम लुक एट दी प्रोपोर्शन आई एम सेइंग ऑलवेज हैव अ सेंस ऑफ प्रोपोर्शन और एक मिनट शो मी वन सिटिंग चीफ मिनिस्टर हुज एंटायर टॉप ब्रास टॉप कैबिनेट एंड ही आर ऑल इन जेल रिस्पांस रिस्पांस कमिंग रिस्पांस कमिंग डॉक्टर आकाश 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 सेकंड 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 फर्स्ट ऑफ़ ऑल आनंद रंगनाथन इज़ वन ऑफ़ द बेस्ट पैनलिस्ट बट मोर इंपॉर्टेंटली 
In the case of Chakran Bujbal, because his name was taken, the same professional organization enforcement director went to court and said, Rahul, here, exactly. this. they said we lost the fight. Hence, close the case. Bujbal we lost the fight. Tell me, Rahul, can you lose a file? Does the ED not have hard copies? Does the ED not have it in its hard disk? What kind of nonsense is going on? In Himanta Biswa Sharma's case, from an, from an accused, he becomes an approver. Viewers, okay, one second, gentlemen, gentlemen. Okay, ma'am, one second, one second. Let me, let me, let me, let me tell you. Very simple. Let me tell you. Okay. He's lying on Chagal Bujban, says uh, Ms. Verma. Sanju Verma says it's lying. Okay, one minute, one second. I don't have so much time. Yes, Dr. Ranganathan wants to come in. Dr. Ranganathan wants to come in. Okay, okay, Dr. Ranganathan. Yes, very quickly. I need to move on to the next one. Yes. Yeah, uh, Rahul, exposing the hypocrisy does yeah. not mean monkey balancing if somebody yes. loves India. Now, yeah. in one sentence, let me encapsulate. Yeah. I agree with what Sanjuji says that cases will continue. Sure, excellent, great. Just say what you were saying before they were inducted in BJP, that they are corrupt. Say Naveen Zindal is corrupt. Say Pawar is corrupt. That you would not say. That Why means you just, your you just of say that it is the job of the court to declare somebody corrupt. You say you will not you are saying they are corrupt. Let the court okay. decide. Stop saying they are corrupt. You say okay. let court decide. Okay, okay. one minute, one, one minute. minute. Okay, one minute, one minute. Let's not. Okay, okay, okay. Doctor, 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 and Miss Varma. Doctor and Miss Varma. Okay, just read it out. Doctor and Miss Varma. Okay. Okay, one second. 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 One second